Welcome to Hoffman Estates High School. My name is Scott Hoffman and I'm the Guidance Department Chair. Because of all of the construction and renovation projects that are taking place in our building this summer, we're unable to take you on a walking tour. Instead, we invite you to join us on a virtual tour so that you can get a better understanding of all the amazing things that Hoffman has to offer and what to expect for this upcoming school year. Joined with me today are some of our other counselors, Mrs. Stevens, Mrs. Brayton, Mr. Murphy, Mrs. Mann, Ms. Mattioli, and Mrs. Cordofa. Counselors will be assigned to all of our incoming freshmen either late July or early August. Each day, all students will enter through the main entrance of our building, the east side. Make sure you're wearing your school-issued ID and lanyard each day you're at Hoffman. If you forget your ID, you can get a temporary ID from one of our student supervisors, which will be in the foyer of our school. You get three free temporary IDs each year. After that, you are charged a dollar for each additional ID. If you'd like, you can purchase a new ID if you lost one, and that would be three dollars in our main office right here. I'm going to take you now over to this side, and we're going to look at what you'll see a lot throughout the building. If you notice, down at the end of this hall, you'll see the letter B. That is because today here at Hoffman, it's a B day. As you know, there are A days and B days at Hoffman, and each day you will see these signs throughout the building, so it will keep you on track whether it's an A day or a B day. We are now in the main academic portion of the building. This is the only portion of the building that has all three levels. Currently, we are standing outside of our media center, so there is a level above us and a level below us. Students have six staircases that will get them to each level of the building, which are located in the corners and also in the middle main hallways. Now, when a student looks at their schedule, for all academic classes, they will see a three-digit number that is associated with where that classroom is located. Each number in that sequence tells you something about that classroom location. For example, if the first number starts with a 2, that classroom is going to be on the upper level. If that number starts with a 1, that class is going to be on the main level. And if that class starts with a 0, that class is going to be on the lower level. The second digit in that sequence will tell you which hallway that classroom is located in. So, for example, if you have a number in the teens, such as 117 or 114, that class is going to be in the northernmost hallway on the north side of the wall. If you have a class in the 20s, such as 122, 123, that class is also going to be in that northernmost hallway, but on the opposite side of the wall. If you have a class that starts in the 30s, that class is going to be in the middle hallway on the north side of the wall, whereas a class in the 40s will still be in that middle hallway, but on the opposite side of the wall. Now, if you have a class that starts in the 50s, that is going to be in the last through hallway along the northern side of the wall, whereas a class in the 60s will still be in that last through hallway, but on the opposite side of the wall. We do also have, um, on the upper and lower levels, another part of a hallway that has the numbers for classrooms in the 70s. We will now continue our virtual tour and enter our media center and showcase some of the resources that are available to your student throughout the day. As you enter the media center, to my left is our circulation desk, and all students will be asked to scan in their ID for accountability purposes. On the other side of the circulation desk is one of the many resources available to our students, math tutoring. Math tutoring is staffed with math teachers and teacher assistants all four blocks throughout the school day so that students who are struggling or need additional assistance can receive the help that they need. To my left is one of our many help desks. This is technology support. Students who need assistance with Infinite Campus accounts, their iPad, if they need their iPad charged, if they left their iPad at home and need to borrow one, um, if they're having issues with their email, this is a place where they can get all of their questions answered and get the help that they need with any technology related issue. Right behind me, is our test makeup center. If your student is absent, an assessment is given during the day that they are absent, that particular teacher will leave a copy of that test down here and ask your student to make up that test within a few days. The student can make up their test during their freshman foundations class, freshman study lab, or after school. Behind me to my right is another one of our help desks. This is our reading and writing center. It is staffed with English teachers all four blocks 
and students again can get assistance with those language arts subject areas that they require additional supports in. It is also open after school Monday through Thursday and as you move through your high school years this area can help them with their college essays as well as scholarship essays and applications. Behind me is our College and Career Resource Center. This is where over 100 colleges visit Hoffman Estates High School each fall. Throughout these meetings, you can learn about admission requirements and scholarship opportunities, as well as what types of majors each university offers. You can also receive scholarship information here, as well as financial aid information. Our, our career advisor is also housed in this area. Our career advisor is responsible for our career treks, which essentially are mini field trips that provide insight and exposure to a particular career. Um, you can sign up for these career treks here, as well as inquire about summer internships and summer job opportunities through our career advisor. Behind me is our satellite cafe. Students can purchase breakfast before school starts and also get a snack throughout their day during their free period blocks one through four. There's also an area that students can study and do their homework or congregate with their friends. We are now on the main floor in the middle hallway. This will be where you have your freshman foundations class. Every student will have a freshman foundations class to help ease their transition from junior high to high school. In this class, you will have a classroom teacher and two to three upperclassmen known as fresh mentors. Your fresh mentors will serve as a guide and a resource for you so they can also assist you with homework and help you in any way you need. You will notice that you have foundations on either an A or a B day. If you look at the opposite day, you will notice that the majority of you have a freshman study lab. In study lab and in foundations, it is a great time for you to complete homework, meet with teachers, or make an appointment with your counselor and visit our media center for the tutoring resources that you need. All right guys, we're now on the second floor of Hoffman Estates High School, so everything on this upper level starts with the number two. So if you have a classroom on your schedule that starts with the number two, up here a lot of our English, science, and math classrooms um, are available for our students. Uh, the academic offices for English, math, and science are also up here. Uh, this hallway that I wanna show you right now to my right is um, kind of an extra hallway that's on our upper and lower levels. Uh, so if you have any classes that are all the way downstairs that start with a zero um, and then go into the 70s, or if you have a, a classroom on your schedule that starts with a two and goes into the 70s, those classrooms are in kind of this extra um, kind of U-shaped hallway that does connect all the way around, but it is different than the main floor. Since we have our media center on the main floor, uh, we do not have those 70s level classrooms on that middle floor. So again, on the bottom or upper levels, we have those 70s level classrooms. All right, guys, as you continue to tour this top floor of the building, one of the things that I want to point out is a lot of our departments, including our science department, which I'm right ne next to right now, uh, have all of our teacher schedules um, posted on the wall. So you have an opportunity if you need extra help in science, math, English, or any of the other academic areas uh, to check which blocks your teachers are available. So they may be in the office. If you have your study lab or your freshman foundations, it would be a great time to see, oh, I need help in biology. Ms. Katoon is available during third block. That's perfect. I can come and see her for some extra help. So a lot of the departments uh, will have this resource available either right inside of their office space or right outside like the science department does here. We are now on the lower level of the building. As stated before, the lower level has the same layout as the middle floor and the top floor. Classes that you will find on the bottom floor include business, applied tech, social studies, family and consumer science, world language, and English as a second language. All of your classes in those departments will most likely be down here. We are now gonna walk over to the cafeteria and the gym area so that I can show you more of our awesome school. We are now in front of the main cafeteria. The main cafeteria is where most students will hang out and have breakfast before school starts. The main cafeteria is open before school, during passing periods between first and second block, and third block when you have lunch. If you look at your schedule, you will notice that during third block, you will have a letter assigned to your lunch, A, B, C, or D. This designates what time you will eat lunch. It could be different from A day to B day. When entering the cafeteria for lunch, you will enter during the serving area. In the serving area, you will notice there are different stations in which you are able to pick different choices for your lunch. You can either bring a lunch or buy a lunch. 
Lunches are all 30 minutes long. Students can also use the vending machines located on the side of the cafeteria as well. I am down the hallway from our student cafeteria just past the band room. And on the west side of the main gym is where our boys' locker room is. This is where boys would enter to get ready before freshman wellness class. And for our young ladies, that would be just east of the main gym, and that's where girls would get ready before wellness class, and that's in between our athletic office. The first day of freshman wellness class, students would report to the main gym, and they would go there to meet their teachers. Also, they would be getting their gym t-shirt, shorts, and lock, um, and this would be all paid at the time of registration. Also, this is our athletic office. This is a very busy place where we have coaches, we also have athletic information. Students who are interested in joining a fall, winter, or spring sport can come here to find out about appropriate paperwork. And then just behind the main gym, that's where our athletic trainer office is. And uh, one of our athletes would see an athletic trainer, they become injured or need to get some help during a practice time. And as we move a little bit down the hallway, past the girls' locker room, that is where our aquatic center is. It's down the hall, up the ramp, and generally freshman wellness classes utilize the aquatic center to do some of their units during the school year. Okay, we are now back on the main floor and we are above the athletic office and right outside the gym shelf. On the very first day of school, you can access your schedule using your iPad by logging into Infinite Campus. If you're having problems entering your information on Infinite Campus, you can most certainly go to our West Gym shelf, which is right through these doors over here, and access your schedule there. You'll get a printed copy of your schedule by just giving them your last name. Along with that, I'd like you to uh, make sure that you have all your registration fees turned in, have all your immunizations to the nurse and registration materials done. Okay, now I'd like to talk to you about what's inside the gym, where you'll have all kinds of your gym classes. On the other side of the gym is your weight room, it's where you'll actually be working out, and you can even take a class your junior and senior year on weight training. On the other side of that weight training gym is the auxiliary gym. The auxiliary gym is one of our small back gyms, and you may even have some of your gym classes in there. This concludes our virtual walking tour. Thank you for taking the time out today to visit with us and learn more about what Hoffman has to offer. If you have any additional questions, please do not hesitate to contact the Student Services Department. Throughout your four years at Hoffman, your counselor is gonna serve as a tremendous resource for both students and parents. And we also want to remind you to please to take advantage of freshman kickoff this August so that you can better familiarize yourself, meet new people, and get a better understanding of what to expect on the first day of classes.